Hey SP fam, carnivores, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Bella the Steak and Butter Gal. I hope you all are having a good day. It is bright, sunny, and warm here in Seattle, finally. So I'm having an extra good day. I've been sitting out, getting some fresh air, and I wanted to film a quick intro for what you guys can expect in this three-day meal plan video. I'm going to be offering two meals for each day, and each day will offer different types of meals. So at the end of this video, you will be getting six total delicious, easy, idiot-proof, carnivore-friendly meals. So besides delicious recipes that will help you with your fat loss and body recomposition, I will also be sharing all of my carnivore essentials for cooking, as well as household everyday essentials, personal care essentials that are non-toxic, artificial dye-free, zero parabens, zero synthetic fragrances, and all hypoallergenic. So I'm super excited to collaborate with Thrive Market to bring you guys the absolute best quality non-toxic products. And for those who watched my recent video, The Round Table with Bart, Coach Raymond, and Coach Steven, all of these meals are perfect to help you guys prime and get ready for the fasting portion. If you're not familiar with this program, we talk all about it in the 90 Day Fat Loss Program video. I will link it right here on the video, but also down below in the description if you guys wanna check it out. If you are interested in joining in on the full 90 Day Program, you can do so by joining the Steak and Butter Gang Support Group. That is where Coach Raymond and Coach Coach Steven teach all of their classes. For more details on how to join, just check out the description box or go to sbgmeetup.com. So let's get the video started with day one of the three day meal plan. To start, I thought I would walk you through my local grocery store, which is Whole Foods, just to show you the cheapest prices. So always go for their chicken drumsticks or chicken party wings if you want fatty poultry. This is their pork loin chops. I often see very great sale prices at Whole Foods, so I'll just go there often throughout the week and pick up whatever is on sale. For example, their ground beef, even their packaged one on the shelf, is only $4 per pound, and it is 80-20 ground beef. Check out their pasture-raised eggs, $6.69 for a dozen. These types of foods will always be lower in price in whatever grocery store you go to, especially Costco. Day one ingredients, chicken party wings. These are $5.99 at Whole Foods. Some eggs. We're going to be playing with two ingredients, nice and simple. I got some pasture-raised eggs. These are from Blue Sky Family Farms and they're the cheapest, even cheaper than Vital Farm. So I'll try this for the first time. We are of course going to need some parchment baking paper. So line your baking tray with the parchment paper for easy cleanup. Then place the chicken wings evenly throughout the tray. Before you do this, make sure your oven is preheating to 375 degrees Fahrenheit for a crispy sear and a juicy middle. I do want to emphasize that when it comes to portions, it is extremely personal. That is why I am not going to dictate and tell you guys exactly how much to eat per meal, because I understand that everybody's body, appetite, and cravings are very different. I am 5'10", so I obviously will probably need more food than somebody who is 5'5". Five, five. So it all depends on your appetite. If you want to tweak the fat content in one of the recipes, feel free to do that too. Take these recipes as inspiration rather than hard rules and guidelines. When your oven reaches 375 degrees Fahrenheit, place your baking sheet of chicken wings into the oven and we're going to be cooking for a total of 45 minutes. Now I'm going to teach you how to make egg pudding. In Chinese, it is called zheng ji dan, which directly translates as steamed chicken egg. So this is my mama's recipe. If you've been following me for a while, you would have seen me make this recipe probably by now a hundred times on Instagram and on YouTube. By the way, follow me on Instagram for even more carnivore content, recipes, and Q and A's. So this is what we're going to need. One bowl to actually steam the egg pudding, a small container, any container that you have sitting around, just to measure out the eggs so that we can match the amount of eggs to our liquid of choice. So the liquid of choice for me is just going to be plain water, but you guys can be creative with your liquid of choice, like bone broth, chicken, beef broth, a soup. You can even do milk. Whatever you want will work for egg pudding. This little container that you choose is key because however many eggs fit in that container, we will match it 
directly with our liquid. So as you saw, I was able to fit three eggs exactly in my little glass container. And so then I will pour the exact same amount of water to add to the egg pudding mix. I repeat that again, just because I'll be making a six egg egg pudding. So three more eggs and I'm going to match it with water, same exact amount, and that's it. Those are all the ingredients for our steamed egg pudding. Once everything is in the bowl, we're just going to mix it up. Next, get yourself a large size pot or any pot that can be closed with the lid, completely shut, and yet still fit your egg pudding bowl. So take that pot, fill it up with water. One to two inches is enough just to steam our egg pudding. And we're going to get that water to a boil. So wait until that water becomes boiling hot, open the lid, and we're going to transfer the egg pudding into the pot now. Once the egg pudding bowl is in the pot, we're going to lower the heat to low medium. If you want it to cook faster, you can do it at medium, but you'll probably have some air bubbles here and there. So if you want a silky smooth egg pudding, I would go with low medium. Seal that lid shut and we're going to steam for a total of 10 minutes. I would keep an eye on the egg pudding because each bowl is going to differ in the amount of time needed. For example, what type of eggs did you use? What type of bowl? Keep tapping the belly of the egg pudding to just check if it is raw or cooked thoroughly in the middle. So I'm gonna top this beautiful egg pudding with some ghee, of course. And this is the Thrive Market brand ghee. It is organic, grass-fed, and unsalted, which is so rare for me to find at a good price. And by the way, this brand of ghee is divine. It is delicious. It adds so much flavor. I am pretty much addicted to this jar. I top it on all of my meals just because I thrive on a very high-fat carnivore diet. If you prefer to eat a little bit leaner than how I eat, please feel free to tweak all of these recipes to match your appetite and cravings. If you prefer more fat than me, by all means, go all the way with the ghee, the butter, the fats. I really believe that animal fats is where all the healing takes place. So obviously this ghee is optional, but I really think topping it with some fats like butter, ghee, tallow, even pork bacon grease will elevate this recipe to a whole new level. I also want to note that these meals, every single one of them are perfect if you are doing Coach Raymond's priming protocol. So if you watched my recent roundtable video with Professor Bart K, Coach Steven, and Coach Raymond about priming and feasting and fasting, all of these meals are extremely compatible. Now, if you did watch the roundtable video and you would like to take part in Coach Raymond's full 90-day fat loss program where he will teach you to prime, feast, and then fast, just go to sbgmeetup.com for more details. Love you, babe. Wow. You look and here's the final outcome of the baked chicken party wings. They're delicious, crispy on the outside, yet juicy and tender on the inside. So this is day one, meal number one, chicken wings and egg pudding topped with ghee. Party wings, Simba. You want your chicken chicken? It's time to eat. Whoa.
music matches this price tag. Hell yeah. I'm just crying. <laughs> For meal number two for day one, we're going to be having sugar-free sausages and fried sunny side up eggs. So ingredients, all we need is the sugar-free sausage of your choice. This right here is from the brand Teton, T-E-T-O-N. I got these from Costco. They're much more budget friendly, lower price at Costco when you buy it in bulk. And also they're extremely clean in ingredients, sugar-free, no strange chemicals, no strange artificial ingredients. So I'm just going to cook it in ghee and I like to saute on medium high heat and I kind of just rotate while I eyeball it. It usually takes about six minutes. After about two minutes of sauteing, I kind of just push the sausages on the side circumference outer area of the pan and I crack the eggs in the middle. So it's like a really cute presentation, but really efficient to cook the eggs in the middle heat while slowly sauteing the sausage on the outside. So with the eggs, it usually takes, I would say three to four minutes on medium high heat to get a liquidy yolk, sunny side up fried eggs eggs. As you can see, this is the finished product. Sausages are nice and seared. Eggs are delicious, glowy, and runny in the middle. Okay, so now let me show you guys my favorite things for pantry staples and household products. Everything that I'm going to share with you guys is non-toxic, artificial dye, and coloring free. So from what I have experienced shopping from Thrive Market so far, it basically is an online grocery store. So this is great for people who have busy lives, really, really hectic schedules, especially my carnivore busy mamas who want to have clean snacks, carnivore ingredients, and non-toxic household products delivered right to your door. So the convenience of Thrive Market is probably the best perks. You can log in on your computer, desktop, laptop, app even, and just add all the things that you want into your cart, get it delivered to your door, and enjoy your life. First thing that I got, two boxes of these parchment baking paper rolls. I literally have been using this for, I wanna say the past year and a half now as a carnivore, any time that I bake things, any time that I put any meat in the oven or my air fryer as well, I always use baking paper. It is non-toxic, unlike aluminum foil, which is very toxic, especially if you heat it at high temperatures. So anytime I can snag some parchment paper for cheap, I get a bunch. Next thing that I got, their Thrive Market brand beef sticks. So obviously I wouldn't get any type of snack if it had sugar in it, if it had MSG, seed oils, any chemical at all. So I was definitely very surprised and impressed to see that their ingredient list was incredibly clean and carnivore friendly. Zero sugar, zero seed oils, zero chemicals, zero nitrates and nitrites as well. Steak and Butter Guy, by the way, has already finished pretty much the whole box he dug in the day that I got my Thrive Market box. But that goes to show how delicious these beef sticks are. So I would say Chomps is the famous popular brand of beef sticks. But if you are looking for the most budget friendly price, go with Thrive because it's even cheaper than Chomps. Next carnivore staple that I got, I've already been using it every single day, is their Thrive Market brand organic ghee clarified butter. Super excited that they even offer a product like this. It is literally just organic unsalted clarified butter. So if you're new to carnivore, I'm sure you're wondering what's the point of getting ghee when I can just get butter. 
a lot of carnivores who come to this lifestyle, they are looking to heal some serious health concerns. So if you're trying to heal autoimmune issues, for example, eczema, psoriasis, anything that is autoimmune related, it tends to be better to eat things that are not going to cause histamine intolerances. So with butter, because of the lactose in butter, even though it's trace amounts, it will cause our more sensitive carnivores to flare up, to not feel as great, to not heal as quick. So this is where clarified ghee, unsalted ghee comes in handy. So you've already seen this ghee in day one of the meal plan. It is just such a great go-to cooking oil as a carnivore. Next product that I got is this fluoride-free toothpaste. So I've interviewed two dental health specialists carnivore, both of them. So check out my videos with Dr. Al Dannenberg and Dr. Kevin Stock to understand why you should go for fluoride-free toothpastes. Even fluoride in your water is incredibly unhealthy for your long-term health. This is the anti-plaque and whitening toothpaste. This is the actual tube right here. So I'm very happy that I get to use fluoride-free toothpaste every day from now. Okay, now we're going to move into everyday household items. Apparently their rosy line of household products is their best sellers, non-toxic and super safe. This is the rosy laundry detergent. I got it in the scent lavender, but they have a bunch of other scents. I also got their rosy dish soap and I got it in the lemon scent. All of their rosy products are biodegradable, zero dyes, non-toxic, eco-friendly and hypoallergenic. All purpose cleaners. This is again the rosy line. I got an unscented one as well as a fresh lemon scent in one. Next thing that I got is this Myers hand soap in the refill size and I got it in the aloe vera scent. Clarifying shampoo. So Faye is another Thrive exclusive line. Skin care, body care, and hair care. So I got their clarifying shampoo because basically we're out of shampoo and I wanted to try something new. It's summer, we're probably gonna be sweating more, we're gonna be outdoors more. So it would probably feel very refreshing to have a minty eucalyptus and tea tree infused shampoo. So there you go. That's my entire Thrive Market haul. I am just super excited to start using all of these staples and household products. I've already been using the ghee, which is excellent, super high quality. As you guys can see, these beef sticks are already pretty much gone. I've already opened and started using this parchment paper for my baking. The Thrive is a membership-based grocery store, but once you sign up, you really get the cheapest prices. And if you find something that's cheaper in a grocery store near you, they will price match it so that no matter what, you are getting the cheapest prices on the things that you buy. Obviously, since I'm carnivore, I do appreciate that they have such a great selection of carnivore-friendly snacks. They even have like a whole keto section, paleo section. You can filter it on the app and the website. But obviously with carnivore, you do have to go to the keto section and then choose specifically the things that are carnivore friendly. So if you guys are interested in doing some online shopping, stocking up on some essentials through Thrive Market, feel free to go to the URL on the screen, thrivemarket.com slash steakandbuttergal. I've also linked it down below in the description so you can click it. You will all get 30% off your first box as well as a free gift worth up to 50 bucks. Okay, so for this meal, we're gonna go classic, simple, delicious, probably hands down the most popular carnivore meal. How am I gonna cook it? Oh, by the way, steak and butter guy got me some beautiful flowers today. He's so sweet. It has my favorite flower of all time, sunflowers right here. Anyways, I will be actually air frying these ribeyes. So here's the Cuisinart air fryer that I use. I actually have two sizes, a larger size and this size, which is slightly smaller, but this size is perfect if you have like a smaller compact kitchen. It fits nicely in a corner while still fitting a good amount of meat. I like to preheat my air fryers. I think it's so important when you put it in a hot piping air fryer. So I preheat at 450 degrees Fahrenheit, which is Cuisinart's highest temperature setting. Once it's nice and hot, I stick the ribeyes in or whatever I'm cooking. And for these ribeyes specifically, I air fried for a total of 10 minutes so that it is bloody rare, but deliciously crispy and seared on the outside. Now this alone is a perfect meal, just a standalone mono meal of steak, but I'm kind of hooked on egg pudding right now. So I just made myself a nice side of, again, another six egg egg pudding topped with the Thrive Market ghee, which is so delicious. And that's my full meal for day two. 
For meal number two of day two, I recommend having some sugar-free bacon. I emphasize that it has to be sugar-free, especially if your goal is fat loss and body recomposition, because sugar will only stall your weight, if not make you gain weight, and it will prevent you from getting the optimal body recomposition that you're looking for. It also opens up your appetite and fuels cravings for sugar and more junk. So please find some sugar-free bacon. This one is special because because it is not pork bacon, but actually beef bacon. It's sugar-free, it's very clean in ingredients. Now always save that delicious golden bacon grease and cook some eggs in it. This is my favorite way to use up that delicious fat. And I just crack some eggs into the pan, cook it in the bacon grease, and have that as a nice delicious side to the sugar-free beef bacon. Hey carnivores, so this is our final day of meals. And for today, instead of making two meals, I'm actually going to offer you guys three different delicious carnivore meals. All of these ingredients and meals end up being budget friendly, easy to make, and of course delicious and customizable to be as high fat as you need it and as lean as you want it. So I do offer a very lean option just for any of you guys who thrive and feel really good on leaner meats. And the last recipe is actually the best recipe. I saved the best for last. One of my mom's Chinese inspired dishes, it's called meatball egg drop soup. I've made this before, but every time I do make it, I always get so many of you guys telling me how delicious it is, how hearty and cozy and comforting it is. So I'm gonna make it tonight for dinner. Day three, meal number one is going to be very pork centric. I'm gonna give you a high fat option as well as a leaner option. This high fat one, obviously, pork belly, one of my favorite foods. This is also a good swap and replacement for bacon. If you love bacon, but you can't tolerate the spices and the high salt, just get yourself some freshly sliced pork belly. I got these ones from H Mart, my local Korean grocery store, and I just air fry it at 450 degrees Fahrenheit, again, with the same exact air fryer for a total of 10 minutes. All right, for the second pork meal is going to be leaner, and I'm using pork loin chocolate. Chops. I got these at Whole Foods. I think they're only $6.99 per pound, so very budget friendly. And this is actually Steak and Butter Guys Mama's recipe. So it again is Chinese inspired. Very excited to share this one with you guys. Slice the pork loin chops into thin little strips like this. You cover it in raw eggs. So you just crack two raw eggs into a bowl, scramble it up, and coat each of these pork slices in the raw egg. Then you just fry it up in your pan and we're using ghee to fry up the pork. And that's pretty much it. It's actually a really delicious, yummy, flavorful, leaner meal for carnivore diet. We sauteed in ghee at medium heat, I would say for a total of eight minutes by flipping regularly. So here's the two pork dishes side by side in the same bowl. We've got the fatty air fried pork belly and the sauteed leaner pork loin chops covered in eggs. Day three, meal two, I recommend making some simple beef patties or just burgers, carnivore style, which is zero bun, just the beef. I like to bake my burgers since I bake such a big amount on a huge baking tray. I shape them into patties and I bake them for about 15 to 20 minutes at 380 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's it. You can also air fry them, grill them, saute them on your pan. Honestly, however you like to make your burgers, but this is a fantastic, easy meal. If you like high fat, I recommend adding butter or ghee. If you want it more exciting, feel free to top it with some cheese. Let it slowly melt. Cheeseburgers you can never go wrong with. But for me, I feel my optimal and best when I have raw cheese. So I try to go for raw and pasteurized cheese, butter and ghee, and that's what makes me feel amazing. And now we move into our very last meal. I definitely saved the best for last. This is one of my favorite recipes. Many, many of you guys love it as well. So this is meatball egg drop soup, an Asian inspired recipe, 1000% carnivore. We're going to need a pot of water and as usual, get it to a boil. So I'm just heating this water. And in the meantime, we're going to take our ingredients, which is ground beef and eggs. Take the ground beef of your choice. I'm just doing 80-20 ratio ground beef. And I'm taking little globs and rolling them into meatball sizes. I'm using about one and a half pounds of ground beef for this soup. And again, 
you should do the amount that you can eat. If you want to do batch cooking and cook up a ton, that's also excellent. The soup tastes better as it sits. So I highly recommend that you do a huge batch at once, pop it in the fridge, reheat it and enjoy. So here's all the meatballs. The water is now at a boil. So I'm just going to drop each of the little meatballs into the water and first let it cook for about three to four minutes before I drop in the egg flour. So as the meatballs cook on medium high heat, I'm going to whip up the eggs. I'm using six pasture raised Vital Farms eggs today, and I'm going to scramble them really nicely. Once they're completely scrambled, we're going to delicately shower the soup with this egg mixture. That's why I call it the egg flower because it really looks like a blossoming flower if you do it really delicately. So try to control that pour into a very small, slow, delicate pour. It's going to look beautiful, but it's also going to taste incredibly delicate, floral, and delicious. This recipe, along with my egg pudding recipe, was inspired and taught by my mom. And both of these are great for when you're feeling under the weather, on chilly days, and also for babies and toddlers. It's very kid-friendly, perfect for all ages. As usual, I will be topping this with some delicious grass-fed unsalted ghee from Thrive Market. Again, if you guys want to check out this product and Thrive Market, feel free to go to thrivemarket.com slash steakandbuttergal. I've also linked it down below in the description. You guys will all get 30% off your first box and a free gift. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoy all of these recipes. If you do try them, please do tag me and share with me your renditions on Instagram. Follow me at steakandbuttergal for more carnivore content and recipes as well. I actually just filmed a round table, another round table video, this time with an all female group. And each of these females represent a very different age category. So the entire video will really have a good representation of the entire female carnivore community. One of the females is actually Coach Emily herself. She teaches Coach Raymond's Feasting and Fasting 90 Day Fat Loss Program alongside Raymond. So if you want to partake in this 90 day program, learn everything you need to get all of the weekly schedules on how and when to eat week by week by week from the coaches, please join in on the next 30 day carnivore challenge. It is the only place to access all of the live classes taught by Raymond and Emily to ask them your questions live on Zoom every single week. It's actually twice a week, every week and to get the custom schedules from the coaches for each week. They teach all levels every single month, so it doesn't matter which month you join. If you wanna complete the full 90-day program, you will just have to manually sign up for three months in a row. That's actually quite nice for a lot of our members because it kind of renews their commitment at the beginning of each month just by signing up for each new challenge. So more details and how to join is at spgmeetup.com. Feel free to also open the description box down below to find the links to get all the details regarding these 30 day carnivore challenges, the fat loss program and how to join. I just opened the August 30 day carnivore challenge. So if you guys would like to join in early to access the 24 seven chat boxes to start asking the coaches questions and to connect with all the members, feel free to sign up down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit like, subscribe and turn on your bell and notifications to not miss my future videos. Stay tuned for awesome carnivore interviews and roundtables coming up soon. Have a good day. See you in the next video.